Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm reporting to you again from inside of my Professor Blackmore's OneNote Civil Law Firm Notebook. And if you'd like to purchase a copy of my pre-made OneNote Civil or Criminal Law Firm Notebook, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com. And I'll place a direct link to my template in the description section below. Now, in my last video, I took you inside of my OneNote yellow pad that is inside of my OneNote civil law firm notebook because I ran across this disturbing scenario that played out in the law firm of one of the lawyers on my Instagram timeline. And based on the comments, it seems this scenario is playing out in many law firms. Now, this particular lawyer described his own self as old school. So that's not coming from me. Don't, don't, don't say that I called him old school. I, okay? Anyway, and I showed you how to make sure that this does not happen to you and I showed you how to do it in a way that allows you to maintain some of your old school swag. Because I showed you that you can still write this opening statement on a paper yellow pad while still saving it in your OneNote law firm office files. But now, I'm gonna show you how the OneNote lawyer would have used my OneNote yellow pad to write this opening statement right in OneNote. Now, the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you have the OneNote app downloaded on your mobile device. And so I'm going to go ahead and tap my OneNote app icon here on my mobile device. And then I need to find my notebook that I'm working in right now. So I'm looking for my OneNote law firm notebook. And all of your notebooks will be in order. So this is the one that I'm looking for. And so I'm going to go over to my civil law file that I am working on. And I'm going to go down to my trial notes here in my notebook here. And here I am. And so I have several versions of this OneNote uh, yellow pad notebook that I have. And if you're interested in purchasing a copy of my OneNote yellow pad notebook template, please don't forget to visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com. And I'll place a link, a direct link to this template down in the description section below. But back to this notebook now. I'm going to go out down to a new page on my yellow pad because I don't want to use this particular style. I have the two column style. Some people have that two column style yellow pad and this is created for that purpose. But I just want to use a new page here and I'm going to rename this. And I want to call this my OneNote Lawyer opening statement. All right. And I'm also going to find this notebook on my mobile device so that you can also see how this information will sync over to any device that I am using or anyone who has access or who is sharing your notebook. And as you can see, that change has already synced over with the page name change. And so now I'm going to go ahead and just write a few lines of this opening statement just so you can see how I would write this opening statement using my OneNote uh, notebook right here just writing it right in my OneNote notebook in the new school kind of way you could say.
Okay, so now we're gonna switch back over to our desktop version of OneNote, which is the version that may be being used by your team back in your law office. So now we wanna go over to our notebook where we just made our new note, our OneNote lawyer opening statement here. And as you can see, that information has already synced over. But if you get here and you don't see that the information has synced over yet, you can always go back out to your notebook here, right click on that notebook, right click on that notebook, click sync, and then click sync this notebook. And then that information should appear within moments. And when you see this little circle here, that means that your notebook is syncing in that particular moment. All right. Okay, so now you just have to agree that you just can't do any of this with your old school paper files. So what about you? Leave me a comment in the comment section below, letting me know which one of these techniques you like better. The old school technique that I showed you in my last video for writing your opening statement or the OneNote lawyer technique that I previewed in this video. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. And I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up. And I wanna ask that you also please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you won't miss any of my tips. And please follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you'd like to purchase a copy of my OneNote civil or criminal law firm notebook template or my OneNote yellow pad notebook template, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com.